Alrighty, so we got a ton of... What I needed to do right there was do some of this stuff. I got a ton of text to skip because I died on Friday, so. Okay. Look at that. Save point. All you had to do was not go over there. Alright, that's that's one problem solved. Still gotta do the other problems. Um I might be able oh nope. There's a soldier right there. Okay, so we'll go to the graveyard now. That way we don't have to worry about it later. Somebody's calling me. I've just gotten the worst good news <laughs> I have probably ever gotten. <laughs> Congratulations! Your interview went really well. They want to move you on to the next phase. What's the next phase? We want you to complete a behavioral assessment. It takes approximately 22 minutes. Oh, here we go. I know exactly what all that is about. Suckers. Who does an interview first, and then they do the behavioral assessment? I hate assessments. I, mean, I don't, I have stopped doing assessments because they're bullcrap. Also, I guess I didn't, um, I didn't tell you guys about those interviews because they happened on Friday. Um, I had two interviews on Friday, which is why I didn't keep going to redo everything that I did. And the first one I thought was went pretty well. I was actually quite happy with it. Belt nice. I think I can get rid of this. Go back to that. Uh, the second interview I thought didn't really go so well. The person cater speed becomes irregular. Wonderful. Uh, the person was one of those like stone cold 
interviewers that you just get no feedback from, no information from, and it's a little bit of a struggle to try to figure that out. So, um, I wasn't hundred percent sure I, I was like, because I had no inclination how the interview went, I always lean towards eh, unfavorable outcome. And, uh, that was the job that was like, we want you to do the assessment now. I'm like, great. Just great. Um, since I'm probably going to be making some really awkward cuts, uh, for the YouTube folks, um, I guess I have kept in the graveyard, but I'm probably going to make another cut here after I buy stuff and stuff like that. I don't know. Maybe. We'll see. Oh, this is that pedometer guy. Hmm, I can get another weird bottle. What what did I do? I spent two thousand. Did I buy another pedometer? Looks like maybe that's what I did. Not a single freaking decision made Friday. I feel your pain on that one, man. Okay. So this is the part where I might have cut to. Poorly, I might add, but I might have cut to this. Okay. First order of business. I'm going to the port. I'm going to try to go onto the boat and save. Watch there be no save point here anymore. Holy crap. So even, even if I didn't get that fight with Yuga, I would have still not been able to save. But I'm on a scuffle now and again, but war is a different matter. Oh my goodness. Well, I, they really just don't want me saving right now. This is a tragedy. All right, so I guess I'm not cutting to this part, other than maybe showing that I could not save there. It's not you, I remember that. I'm gonna need only town through here. What happens if I go through here? Interesting. Well, I can save right now. What's up? Make another mark right there, because we're going to have to make up all them cuts. Found out how to save. I am happy. Oh, so happy. Okay, so I guess this is probably the part where I'll... I'll cut back to the normal game, maybe after some goofs with the, the other stuff. Um, somebody still wanted me to... To, um... To talk to one of the soldiers. I still feel like that's a mistake. But I guess, since I saved, I don't have much to worry about. Uh, 
Make another cut right there. All right, we're gonna talk to a soldier. What I thought. Chat trying to troll me. Ooh. That one's a little bit smaller, I think. Or maybe it moved? I, I don't know. Letting your employer take advantage of you? You've done that too long. Bending over backwards to accommodate in junk? If they said, hey, we need this thing done by Friday and you didn't have it done, you can promise you they wouldn't be... Uh, lol, no problem, fam. Whenever you get a chance. No, it would be... What the heck is going on, dude? Get your stuff together and or get out the way. I'm I don't disagree with you. I don't disagree with you. Oh, he's still there though. We need to get to the harbor. Uh, so I didn't I didn't actually buy Uh, stuff because for some reason I had it in my head that I was going to be able to buy more stuff later. Uh, so we're going to do that now. I, I had meant to cut this out but you know, them's the ropes YouTube folks. interesting tangent there or here um, while listening to music to further the level up this playlist series I uh, had a track listed off as hip-hop remix there are some some tracks on there you know just like man this it's got the drums that's everything you know and this is gonna work out I kind of want to, I kind of want to drop some bars at the end of this level up this playlist episode. Problem is recording bars. It's tough stuff. Okay, and everything else I bought was items. Alright, to the hub. Uh, you should be able to have expectations just like the company has of you. Oh, I, I, I agree with that. I... I guess ultimately what I'm trying to say is um... I don't think I don't think you would like what I was going to first say. So I'm going to say what I'm going to first say and then I'm going to say what I was going to second say. Um You kind of go to, you know, go to job to do your job. So you're like that's that's what you're there to do. But At the same time, um, um, I'm forgetting. I, I've forgotten, but I'm trying to remember. save point. I might have scuffled now and again, but the war is different. 
than when I went over there last time. You know what? I don't remember what I was going to say for the second one, but uh, it in a nutshell would have gone something all along along the lines of um, if you ever find yourself in a situation where you're not happy with your job, uh, I personally would definitely go a more diplomatic route. And if you if that doesn't work, then, you know, you escalate things, of course. Um, I, I, I personally think that them saying, hey, we'll have a decision on Friday, and then them saying, you know what? This decision's actually a little bit harder than we thought. It's going to take until Monday or whatever. Um, I don't think that's that much of a big deal. Sure, it's agonizing over the weekend, but... You know, uh, stuff happens. Now, if they moved it back today, that's when I'd be like, yo. Can't be pl playing with my emotions like this. But I understand that, you know, um, not everyone is ambivalent as I am. Especially if it's something you really, really want. It's like seeing that Transformers or that that Lego uh, set in the store and you've always wanted it. You've seen it on the commercial so many times, but it's always been way too expensive, but now you can afford it. And then your mom's like, give me $5. I need to buy some gum. And you're like, hold up there, sucker. That's my $5. I need to buy my Legos. I'll buy you Legos later. You promise? I promise. Eight months go by. Yo, where's my $5? I need to buy my Legos. Alright, bro. I ain't got $5. Get some rest. Alright, we are... We are on new territory now. And we've got to save. Can you believe it? Let's go to this in room first. I think there was something right here. Yeah, I already got it. They've already delayed you once before. It was supposed to be decided Tuesday last week, plus the position will be incredibly time sensitive. It has a hard start date, so if you do get picked, you have less time to get up to speed the longer we mess around with the decision. Okay, well then there you go. I understand your uh, your uh, your feelings a little bit more now. So you didn't give me that context before. I expected to find a mannish woman indeed, but you're actually quite beautiful. So you're the new dog Tokyo sent. I had no idea they wanted me so badly. They sent you all the way to Shanghai just for me. Don't think my father will take this lightly. Watch your mouth. You're speaking to the new ruler of Shanghai. You'd best forget your father. Oh, you haven't heard the news. Well, I'll tell you. Your father adopted a new daughter, someone from the Qing Dynasty. What? He's busy raising her. He doesn't have any time for you now. Oof. Your time's up. No, your time's up. Who are you? I'm your worst nightmare, buddy. <laughs> Should've went straight into a battle right there. Are you one of her underlings? Get him, nobody stands in my way. This guy's a sergeant too. Not an elite guard. Oh, he's got some HP on him. Next escalation is setting fire to dog poo on his porch. Alright, calm down now. <laughs> it ain't that serious. 
Kakko. Hoping it would just be just a little bit. Ah, you suck of fool. Life sucker. I hope it's good. And I hope it's cheap. You don't need no 50 SP stuff. I'll get you for this. Kato, Kato, are you alright? Hang in there. You came, but why? Consider this our thanks. You'll have to take care of the soldiers outside by yourselves, though. You came back for us, all of you. We just stopped by to say hello. You can thank us later. We seem fated to keep meeting. We may be on opposing sides the next time we meet, but do take care. Yuri, you're going, right? To Kuihai Tower. Yeah. Uh, you know her. Uh, you know her. She'll sob and cry if I don't rescue her. Be careful, okay? And Yuri, I'll pray for your success. Thanks. No, really, I'll be praying. <laughs> Where am I? Are you awake, Alice? Dehuai. This is my Kuihai Tower la laboratory. Laboratory. Uh, what do you think? Impressive, isn't it? But before we begin the Demon's Gate invocation, I must test your power just a little. What do you think you're going to do it to me? I'll never ever cooperate. We'll see how long that sassy little attitude lasts. Uh, you'll soon give up and do whatever I wish. Well then, shall we begin? I hope you enjoy this. Now answer me. Oh, come for me, I know it. I just need to buy some time. I'm I'm not gonna humor the game. I'm I'm not going to do it. I won't hurt you if you do as I ask. What do you say? Okay, here it comes. What should I do? <laughs> I'm not gonna humor this game. I feel like she'd never say the second thing. There's that, too. You're starting to get crispy, girl. So, still won't change your mind? You sick meanie, Dehuai. Okay, one more time. Ignore him. Don't you dare ignore me, you little brat. And yet, how beautiful your profile is. Help, help Yuri. She passed out. How sad, I'll have to stop before I put her into a coma. Finally, finally, I begin the Demon's Gate invocation. Bear witness, lowly maggots. I shall soon find you the face of God. Laughter. Wow, we got here quick. Well, oh, check this place out. So this is Kui High Tower. Well, well. It's a whole lot bigger than it was 15 years ago. 
Just wait, Alice. I'm coming for you. Doesn't this feel like end of the game-ish? You know, like... In a JRPG... Wait, did... Okay, no, no. Wait, 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 wait. Is the third key, like, an item item? It is. Okay. Um, usually in a JRPG, you'd come across a situation like this where you'd go to the 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 end, I suppose. And this feels like why wouldn't Dehuai's tower be the very end of the game? So there's really no way that this could be the end of the game because we're only nine hours in. The estimates twenty five hours, which means the only thing that can be interpreted, which makes sense because this is another JRPG kind of thing, is the Demon's Gate invocation goes off somehow, and we gotta run around and deal with that, and then come back and deal with Dehuai. Unless, unless this game just subverts that's expectations, and we actually kill Dehuai here, and I don't know, maybe uh, uh, Zhu Zhang? I, for, I keep forgetting his name. There's, there's a Zhao Zhang, there's Zhu Zhang, uh, there's a lot of Zhangs. And I can't remember which one is which sometimes, but um, maybe he just takes over and he's like, you know what? You know, I'm going to do this. Uh, so this is the ya uh, the Yawang Gate, huh? Uh, I'm sure hordes of monsters will pour out the minute it's opened. Oh, quit it. Even an idiot like Dehuai wouldn't use the same tactic again. Well, there's one way to find out. When you use... Uh, Yuan gate key. The gigantic heavy door slowly opens. Oh, I, I was... I was thinking like, okay. Uh, they're gonna tell me like, hey, you cannot save from this point onward. So I was gonna go back and, and handle that. Zhu Zhen, that's his name. <laughs> so I think I was just off completely. Um, we're going to hold off on the um, bomber. This guy's probably a boss. Let's just confirm it. We'll get his element. We're basically wasting 50 damage yeah, so that we can see his element. Yep. You know, it's fire. That's a plot twist. Alright, life sucker. Back with life draining darkness plus silence. Why does it cost 30? That's not going to do much damage, but what choice do I have? Too lang. <laughs> yeah. Alright, we're going to go to water against my better judgment here. It's also just a gang. Yeah, there's a lot of dudes. Let's see, we're gonna... Oh, you don't have what I thought you had. Life is hard. Give me 100. 160, I'll take it. Give me that. Oh, you have it. I've never seen that one, and uh, that one's incredibly silly. Jesus. That was 163 damage. Mm hmm, mm hmm, mm hmm. The casual slap up. Let's do 
another flash flood since you want to hit hard. Okay. Now you should be able to do big damage. I guess. Yo. Don't kill her. Let's keep this up. The game has been pretty good about giving me save points before bosses, so I can always use a tent. Too early for that last one. Jesus. Still hits like a suck of food truck. Nice. Give me that 160. Try out Live Sucker on something else. Take that! I had the most interesting dream uh, this morning. Never had a dream like it. Um, I was going back to school. I know, the horror, right? Going back to school, and I couldn't find my class. It was nighttime. Um, for whatever reason, I was just having a really hard time. And eventually, I went a certain way. And there was like this, like, it's, it had like a carnival kind of theme to it, for some reason. And uh, I came across like this um, roll down door. And the, the, uh, like, it, it was open, but there was also like this, uh, like, robot that kind of like slides back and forth. I don't know, carnival attraction and um, there was like a, a line of people trying to get through it but for whatever reason they just stopped and they started to turn around and I'm like what's going on we're like you know we can't get past over there I look over there there's all this space like there's so much space uh, for people to go through and so I'm like what are you talking about there's tons of space and they're like oh uh, but there's invisible walls. I'm like, what the heck? Invisible walls? Y'all tripping. So I go over there. I try to get past it. There's invisible walls. It didn't make any sense. So then, you know, we start concocting all these um, uh, methods to, to get past it. And uh, that's my story. Imagine imagine coming across an invisible wall in your lifetime the craziest stuff ever you know can you just die thank 
you. Amy, ways to revive item. You remember your dreams often? Not really. I used to write them down. I've I've had some pretty crazy dreams. I've had a dream about Godzilla once. That one was so scary. <clears throat> it almost got fire all the way up. DC, I told you it would happen. Guess both you and Deho I think on the same level, Sonny Boy. No, I'm kidding. Alright, this is it. Wait, there's something on the ground. There's something on the ground. What's this? There's like a turtle on it. Darn, if it isn't the black tortoise votive picture. So this is the one that Dehuai took. That's right, I never expected we'd get it back in a place like this. Why not? Ooh, save point right there. Go ahead and use that tent. We'll save. We will mark for posterity. 